I have this theory. A lot of people often ask how you could ever consider killing yourself. From my own experience uh, with depression and anxiety, from working in mental health, and also knowing a lot of other people and speaking with them about their own depression, anxiety, and having suicidal thoughts, I believe that there's a core issue that we all haven't really touched on or become aware of. And it starts when we're born. Uh, at that time, we're, we have that childlike innocence, the, the wisdom that comes from being connected with who we really are, or our authentic self. But as we grow up, we're surrounded by others, and a lot of us feel the need to want to try to tell people, other people, who they can be. And this comes through as teachers telling you that you can't be an artist or a writer or an astronaut. It comes through as media telling you that you're not good enough or that you need to buy things to be happy or be successful or um, be the, the proper you. And over time, I think that this just kind of wears away at us, that in the beginning we you know, share this authentic self, these authentic moments of who we really are. But when we get this feedback of, of negativity and judgment, um, we begin to learn that that's what we get from sharing that, those authentic bits of ourselves. So over time, I think that we learn to kind of build these walls and protect who we really are. But what happened to me is that as I started to do that, I started to lose touch with my authentic self, who I really was. And over time, that led to anxiety. And as more time passed, that led to depression. And then eventually it led to thoughts of suicide. And to answer that question in the beginning, how could you ever consider killing yourself? I think that it comes from being so out of touch with who you really are, that it's not necessarily that you're killing yourself, but in your mind you're killing who you've become or who you're presenting yourself as now. And in some cases you might feel that it might be impossible to go back to that authentic self because all you've ever gotten or uh, a lot of what you remember um, getting as feedback from that is negativity or judgment and things like that. So I think that what we really need to focus on if we want to try to help people who are struggling with depression and anxiety or uh, considering suicide is that we need to be more mindful of our reactions, our judgments, the feedback that we give people when they share these authentic um, expressions of who they really are. And I think that if we can be more open and accepting of people for who they really are, then I think that that will solve a lot of our problems. And if you're struggling and thinking about suicide, I want you to know that there is help. There are people out there who will accept you and encourage you to be your authentic self. The key is getting back in touch with who you really are and talking to someone about what you're going through. If you can't find the words, you can always use photos as a way to express and start to understand your situation. Always remember, you are the most important project of your life.